your one. Lee McMillan, your uh, trimming and flight control on the starboard side of T6 today. Um, just sum up the conditions for us. It looked like a lighter day than we had yesterday. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah, the breeze didn't quite kick in as much as yesterday. Uh, so it was more kind of seven to eight, nine knots at times. Um, quite nice to kind of just push it right down to the bottom of the range and see how low you can push it down. Um, and yeah, just kind of doing some, some race rehearsals really. Let's talk a bit about the trimmer's role. Um, I spoke to Dylan yesterday about the driver's role through tacks and jibes and, and asked him to just describe what's a, what's a perfect tack feel like and what does it feel like for a, a trimmer? I guess for a trimmer, um, just kind of getting the boat into the right kind of attitude as you're entering the tacks. Um, and then obviously there's a, there's a kind of important crossover role when you're swapping sides from one side to the other who's got control of the, the jib and the main and just making sure that you're kind of, um, you know, kind of helping each other out um, through those manoeuvres when you're trying to kind of power up and, and things like that and just kind of getting it really well defined and who's doing what and when. Is it very different through a jib or, or similar? Very similar, yeah. Um, I guess in the, in the trimmer's role you're not hugely loaded up in terms of the kind of things that you have to do on the AC40 compared to the, you know, T6 with the, the autopilot on the boat. and. Um, you know, so it's really just kind of dialing into to those pure trimming roles and, and getting the boat well, well dialed into the to the targets. Is there anything you do as a trimmer that helps turn the boat through the breeze in these lighter conditions? Yeah, for sure. You know, like powering up at the right moment and and kind of, you know, pl you know, trimming the traveller and the main sheet at the right moment as you're as you're entering into the tacks and the jibes is an important part of it. Trying to keep the boat absolutely at its optimum heel and, and things like that. So. Yeah, you're definitely playing a part into it. Between a, a windy day and a light day like today, which is the most tricky? Um, I mean, they're both tricky for different reasons. You know, you kind of, when you're on the edge of being able to execute maneuvers in the light breeze, it, the, the end result can be quite catastrophic. Um, yeah, they're just very different for different reasons. I think in the breeze, the boats are, you know, certainly very lively. It's quite a lightweight boat um, when it gets into the high teens and, and the boat's very lively in those conditions. Um, and you, you know you can have a catastrophic event for different reasons. You know losing losing the rudder. You see a lot of teams doing that can be the, the end result of getting too powered up in the exit of jibes and, and things like that. Um, yeah, equally interesting, but for different reasons. Is there a, in these light airs, Is there a is jibing less of a high tariff than tacking? We saw more jibing in the pre-start work that you did. Um, Jibing, I think they're quite similar to be honest. I think in, in the very light winds, in the jibes, your exit angles are very high anyway, so you're almost exiting at, at, the, at the very bottom end, similar angles, so there's not a lot in it to be honest. All right, well, thanks for sharing all that with us. Really interesting stuff, thanks. No worries, thanks.